We'll be okay. Bruce oh. showed up at my doorstep Ow. in November oh of 2021. You're so sweet, buddy. I saw him over the next couple of months pretty infrequently. Look who's here during the day. Hi, baby. Then he started coming every day. Well, good morning, buddy. I just kept feeding him and I decided to try to socialize him. Slowly started feeding him with the door like cracked open. There you go. It's okay. We worked like that, baby steps, you know, until he was able to fully eat inside the house. I decided to start feeding him with a spoon. From there, we graduated to a glove to try to get him acclimated to my hands. It was a long time of him with the glove, trying to introduce some pets before trying to trap him. He's getting trapped this weekend. You are. He was too smart to be trapped in conventional ways. I decided to bite the bullet and to, to trap him with my house. He didn't love that. He was a handful. I'm feeling a little scared. But socialization moved pretty quickly once he was inside. He was making it very clear that he wanted to be pet. But then when I went to actually pet him, he, he wouldn't let me anywhere near him. <laughs> Talk to the folks at Alley Cat Project that I volunteered with and say, hey, you know, what do you think would work for this? Ow. So that was when the scratcher really came in. It really, really helped get him acclimated to me and to understanding that he was safe. Ever since then, it's been totally snowball of, of love. Check this out. He watches me from every room. <laughs> Hi, buddy. He has become such a baby. He wants me to carry him everywhere. Sleeps with me in bed every night, which is very sweet uh, until you know, 7 a.m. with you standing on my throat, screaming for breakfast. I find that I wake up with a smile on my face and I go to bed with a smile on my face. <laughs>